Welcome to the next in this series of videos looking at how to use the Orion Workmate mobile app. In this video we'll look at how to carry out a job by completing the workflow steps in My Planner. We'll look at examples of some job workflow steps you'll need to complete, including submitting a form, performing a traffic count and submitting workflow data to the office. Let's get started. To complete a job workflow, select My Planner from the dashboard, quick navigation bar, or menu. My Planner is your main console for completing the job workflow. Jobs assigned to you will display in My Planner, provided you have first accepted the job and signed the job agreement. This is covered in the previous video. By default, you'll see jobs for today. On any one day, you might see one job, many jobs, or no jobs at all. You can also view jobs for the current week or month. If there are lots of jobs displayed, you can use the search field to filter the list. For example, you could enter a customer name to see only jobs for that customer. You can also select to view jobs in the calendar view. Tap the refresh icon if you need to refresh job details. For example, to synchronise the app with the ERP system if you've been offline. Each job in My Planner has three sections. The upper section shows the main job details, including the customer and location. The central area is the job workflow, guiding you through the steps you need to take in order to complete the job. We'll come to this shortly. The lower section contains additional steps you may need to take when completing a job. These steps are optional and may be performed as many times as necessary. Let's now look at completing the job workflow. The workflow guides you through the steps you need to take to complete the job. Be aware that different types of job will have different steps, although there are many common elements. The main thing to remember is that you must click and complete each blue step before proceeding to the next until the job has been completed. So let's select the first step. This step is asking you to verify operative vehicle and trailer details before completing a vehicle checks form. This is an example of one of the many types of form you might be asked to complete. We'll cover this in more detail in later videos. The main part of the form involves completing a list of questions. When you've completed the form and entered your signature, tap click to continue. Tap click to continue. You've completed the first workflow step. You're automatically taken to the next step in the job workflow. If you click back to return to the My Planner screen, you'll see that the completed job workflow step has turned green. Now you can select the next step in the job workflow. The next step in our assigned job workflow involves completing the load vehicle form to ensure the vehicle has been loaded with the correct equipment for the job. Again, we'll answer the questions on the form, enter our signature, then tap click to continue. You've completed another step in the job workflow. The next step arrived on site simply involves tapping click to continue to confirm you have arrived at the job site. The app takes a GPS location and timestamp to track job progress. Continue working your way through the job workflow by completing each step. The traffic count step is for taking a traffic count at the job site. To start the count, tap the start button. The counter starts counting down from 3 minutes. Tap the car counter button to count each car. And tap the HGV button to count each lorry. Note that you may not reduce the counter number once the countdown has started. However, you may click the reset button at any time to reset the count to zero and start the countdown again. When the three minutes has passed, an hourly traffic value is calculated and the green save button displays. 
To submit the count, click Save. If the count is not too high, you're allowed to continue to the next step in the job workflow. Note that if the count value is too high, meaning there's too much traffic to proceed with the job, a warning display is explaining that you'll need to wait for 15 minutes before submitting another traffic count. The final step in the job workflow is always Submit to Office. Tap Click to Continue. This synchronises the job and workflow with the ERP system. The app also takes a GPS location and timestamp. You have now finished the job. There are no more workflow steps to complete. You may proceed to the next job listed in My Planner.